Hi Aquarius, my air sign Aquarius. What is up? What is good with y'all? Welcome and welcome back to my channel, guys. I'm so glad to be back here doing a reading for you guys this morning. Thank you guys so much for clicking on this video. Thank you guys so much for rocking with me, even though I haven't been <clears throat> uploading in a while. I've been moving, you guys, moving around, trying to get everything in order. But I'm going to be doing your love reading for July 2022. Um, sun, moon, or rising, okay, uh, Aquarius. Is. So if you are an Aquarius or have Aquarius in your chart, okay, you are welcome into this reading. If you are a crosswalker, you are welcome, okay. Make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Because if you're not subscribed, then what are you doing? Like, what are you doing? Nah, <laughs> Like, share, subscribe, and turn that bell on ALL so you won't miss any readings that I upload for you guys, okay? So, let's get into this reading. This is going to be general, so it may or may not resonate with every single last one of you. So, do take the parts that resonate with you and leave the rest for another Aquarius. Eight of Pentacles. So somebody's working really hard. This could be you. This could be a Taurus, Virgo, or Capricorn. It doesn't have to be. It's all about the energy that they're operating from at this time. So um, some of you may be working overnight or just working a lot, okay? This could be related to work. Now, keep in mind, this could be... Um, this reading could be about you, your person, a family member, a friend. Um, it could be about anybody, okay? But I feel like somebody does want to put the work and in, in the effort in towards you guys' connection with the Eight of Pentacles, okay? They want to work on it, okay? I do see this person wanting to make something up to you with the Page of Pentacles. Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. This person works a lot, okay? I feel like you want them to spend more time with you or they are wanting to spend more time with you and make it up to you, okay? They're making you some sort of an offer here with the Page of Pentacles. You may be younger than this person or this person is younger than you, okay? Let's see what else we have for Aquarius in love. This may be about work for some of you. Yeah, so I do see you guys are very financially stable, independent, self-sufficient, self-made, very beautiful or very handsome, male or female, doesn't matter. Um, I do feel like that, you know, some of you may be single right now, okay? And some of you, you know, this person wants to buy you something, could be lingerie, could be something from the boutique, it could be, uh, they're, they're trying to figure out what to buy you, okay? Yeah, I feel like this person is going to come through with a love offer, um, offer you a cup of love and an apology. They want to tell you that they are sorry with the Knight of Cups here. Okay, heavy um, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy. Okay, and then we have Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio with the Knight of Cups. What else do you have for Aquarius? Now, this may not resonate with everybody, so just watch till the end you guys okay yeah this person i feel like you're beginning to recognize some things about this person or this person is bringing something to your attention okay this person may be showing you a lot of attention after they apologize to you you know you guys may be getting attention and recognition here you may have a platform or a huge following but i feel like this person wants success and victory with you Okay, yeah, with the Six of Wands. Maybe a, a Leo, Aries, or Sagittarius here. And with the Tower in Reverse, okay, I feel like this person is trying to avoid a Tower moment with you. Some of you have a platform you are a public figure on the public eye. And I do see people praying on your downfall here with the tower in reverse. Maybe people at work. 
maybe family members, maybe friends. The cards keep falling, you guys. Yeah, this is somebody that, you know, you make very happy. Cancer, Pisces, or Scorpio, okay? This may be somebody that you're married to. You may have kids with this person. You may be in a relationship with them now or not. But I feel like this person does see you as, um, you know, they're very emotionally fulfilled with you. They're very happy being with you. All right. And they want this. Uh, they want things to steer in their direction here. Okay. And they want to move towards you. This person may be traveling towards you in a vehicle. Okay, they may be getting on a train or a bus, some sort of transportation here with the chariot. All right. But this person wants to move things forward with you. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio, energy. And they want to win you over at all costs. They want to get you back by any means necessary because I did see the five of swords at the bottom of the deck. Okay. Yeah, this person is in love with you. Okay, for some of you, this is going to be new love coming in for you. All right. Yeah. Why is the Ace of Cups here for Aquarius and love? Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune. Yeah, things are going to go in your favor here. Okay, I do feel like um, your luck and fortune is going to be changing. For the better you could be dealing with a taurus a scorpio an aquarius or a leo yeah look the five of swords again this person wants to win you over by any means necessary they want to get you back by whatever cost it takes and they're going to do whatever it takes <laughs> to get you back okay because this person feels like they spent a lot of time with you they invested a, in a lot of uh time with you in a relationship all right and they want a new start with you they want a new beginning with you you know this may be going out for dinner you know going out on a trip you know um they may sp spend a pretty penny on you you know getting you a ring okay this may be a proposal or an engagement you know this could be um a nice pair of earrings could be diamond earrings, okay? This could be a nice bracelet, a nice chain, okay? But this person is making you an offer here, a big offer to make things more stable, more solid, and more committed here, okay? Because they cannot eat, they cannot sleep, they cannot think, okay, without you. This person is stressing, going through anxiety, depression, you know, losing nights of sleep. They're really worried about you ending things with them for good. Okay, this could be another Aquarius, or this is you, or this could be a Libra, or a Gemini. They want to balance things out with you. They want to have an equal give and take in the connection. Okay, yeah, this is somebody that may be very spiritual. Um, they may be a tarot reader or you're into that type of stuff. You may be hearing this from a tarot reader such as myself. Okay. Um, with the high priestess, yeah, this person is keeping something to themselves or this is you. But I feel like you're listening to your intuition about this, guys. All right. <clears throat> Let's see. Let's get one more for Aquarius. And then we're going to jump into some channel messages. Somebody may be doing spell work to avoid an ending here with you. Okay. For some of you, someone uh, may have passed on in your life. <clears throat> But I do feel like you're going through a transformation here. You're going through a change, okay? I do see this person... You know, I do see them wanting to change. I do see them wanting to build a legacy with you. Something more stable, solid, and more committed. This may be someone you knew for years. Or they want to spend the rest of their life with you. This is also the marriage card. 
there may have been an ending here okay to some sort of property you may have moved or relocated to a different city state country or a town but this person sees you as the one with the ten of pentacles they see you as their everything everything and they want to make it up to you okay that's nice i like that i really do mm -hmm. yeah <laughs> into some more messages for you guys these are going to be the channel messages so these are additional from t from the tarot uh, so i feel like in the past there was some unrequited love here between you and this person okay things were imbalanced in the connection all right and i feel like you guys Pulled your energy away from this person, retreated, you know, spent some time alone to yourselves because there was just too many red flags. This could have been in the past or this could be specific for someone. Okay, other than the tarot reading, this could be specific for someone out there. So whoever needs to hear this message, this is for you. Okay, let's get some more additional channel messages for you guys. Yeah, this person um, could be manifesting you back in. Or you guys are calling in a soulmate. Using prayers, affirmations, and visualizations to help bring you two together. This is very specific, guys. Alright, so like I said... Yeah, this is somebody that you're not with right now. Some of you are separated from your person and some of you are not. But I feel like they want to come back in even though in the past there may have been unrequited love and you had to pull your energy back because there was too many red flags that you may have thought you missed or, you know, you were very suspicious, very curious about what this person was doing. But I feel like they're calling you back in, okay? You may be feeling alone, but you're not alone. You're not alone. You may be feeling lonely, like, you know, but you're not, you know, alone. You may be feeling lonely, but you're not alone. I'll tell you that. All right. Let's see. One more. Yeah, I feel like you may be calling in a soulmate. And I feel like some of you may be meeting someone new. All right. Because I feel like if this person in the tarot wanted to make something up to you, you may have felt like it wasn't enough because the Page of Pentacles is someone that offers the bare minimum. So you may have felt like, well, that's not going to be enough, you know, to fix the relationship or what have you. And so with the death card that showed up, there may have been an ending to you guys' connection here. And this may be who they're talking about, you know, as far as uh, your person is concerned or this could be very specific for someone out there who needs to hear this message okay so let's get into some more channel messages for you guys and then i'm gonna let you guys go This person uh, may have been paying a lot of attention to their work, you know, offering you the bare minimum and they want to make it up to you. But for some of you, you may have just, you know, ended things with this person. So let's see. Somebody has a big ego. My cards keep falling. <laughs> oh my gosh. Inflated self. Inflated self. Uh, mm, sorry, you guys. <laughs> inflated sense of self being self-centered, self-absorbed. Okay. So, yeah. <laughs> so, you guys may go to church or someone does. 
Okay, you may read the Bible, you know. Yeah, this is you. Could be uh, another Aquarius, a Libra, or a Gemini. Somebody could be spending money really fast, or this is you. Be careful with your spending, okay? What the hell? Y'all. My cards just keep falling. Okay, so like I said, some of you are moving, relocating to a different city, state, country, or town. You're leaving someone or something behind. Okay, Queen B here. Okay, period. One more. Give me one more for Aquarius, Spirit, Guides, Angels, Ancestors, and Universal Energies. Okay, two more. Okay. You may have fire in your chart. Aries, Leo, Sag, or you're dealing with a fire sign. Or a fire sign may be involved here. Yeah. So someone may be having financial issues. All right. So be careful with your spendings because somebody may be having a hard time, you know, paying bills and stuff like that. Okay. So let's get some more channel messages and then I'm going to let you guys go. I hope you are enjoying this reading, guys. And I'm sorry my card's been flying all over, like off the table and shit. Like, what is that about? <clears throat> so at the bottom of the deck, you have a child, okay? You may have a child with this person or there's children involved, okay? There's some unexpected money coming in towards you, okay? Or um, this may be about a child. You may have to pay out a certain amount of money. This may be child support or something like that. Or there's a child that you're giving money to. Okay. Let's see. What else? There's a message of concern coming in. Okay. This may be a letter. A phone call, an email. Yeah, a lot of you are um, going on a journey, a trip. You may be traveling due to this message that came in. You may have to travel somewhere. All right, let's see what else Spirit has for you. Let's see what else. Ooh. See, my cards just keep. <laughs> wow. Okay. Okay. So, yeah, there is some concern. I feel like somebody is worried about something here involving, like, a trip. There may be some money that needs to be paid out to a child or, um, this is some money that you're giving to a child. Okay, you may get a message about something. You may have to travel. But I feel like you or somebody is concerned. Okay, house is in significance here. So you may be buying a house, moving into a house, renting a house, getting a house built from the ground up. This may be an inheritance of a house. Or this is somebody's house. But you have a lot of people who are supporting you at this time, okay? Someone's mother is involved or you're the older woman, okay? Or um, your mother may be moving in with you for, some, for someone, somebody here. Or you're getting a house, an inheritance from your mother, grandmother, great aunt, great, great grandmother, somebody, okay? Somebody. Yeah, you may have grown up like in like 
foster homes or like you know different types of child services or somebody has somebody may have been through poverty or you know some of you haven't had a good childhood but you don't have a close connection with your mother that's being channeled that's not even in the cards you guys um Yeah. There's a false person here. Despair. So I feel like you guys, someone here, you know, gets into relationships and like wonders why they keep attracting the same energy over and over again. Okay. This may have something to do with a courthouse or decision that's being made here. All right. So that is all the messages that I have for you guys for today. Make sure that you guys like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Turn the post notification bells on because if you're not subscribed to my channel, then what is you doing? For real. <laughs> like, I love you guys so, so much. Thank you for all the support. Thank you for all the love you guys have been showing me, even though I haven't been uploading. Thank you so much. I love you guys so much. Until next time, bye, Aquarius. I'll see y'all in the next reading.